Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tash is going to spill the tea. Straight no chaser guys. So dive in, tap in and let's get going for this clarity, okay? I want to call in our ancestors and use the charm bowl to do so. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light, I call you in and I ask for a clear, precise channel message for my beautiful collective. I ask for protection, guidance, and protection and guidance for my collective. Anything other than the highest white light, I ask you close that door now and to protect it. Thank you. And thank all of you guys. So let's put this on the side and let's get diving in. Mm. Remember, I am just a messenger, okay? So we got some new cards today. It's the soul, what is it called? The sea soul tarot, okay? So let's see what's going on. Remember to put yourself where you belong. I could be saying he, it could be a she, it could be saying they, it could be you. Use your discernment, guys. And if you haven't, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post new content. And let's dive in. What does spirit want us to talk about? So it says soothe. Okay? It says, may you settle gently even as the waves break above. Okay? Somebody needs to soothe, soothe themselves. There's a lot of emotions going on. A lot of unsettling. A lot of not knowing. Somebody needs to have grace. Be gentle with themselves. Because there's a lot going on above water. And it's reveal. And this is why somebody needs to reveal their emotions. How they feel. So then this way they can soothe. Find healthy coping mechanisms. Healthy self-soothing mechanisms. It says reveal. The openness leads you to communication. Somebody wants to communicate with you. They see this light like they're, they're drowning in their emotions, but they see this light and they want to reveal what they feel or how they know. This could be you. This could be an energy around you. This could be energy playing in yours that you know nothing about. But it says begin, guys. It says you may start as if you have already begun. Okay, somebody wants to start something new. Act as if you already have it, okay, guys? That's manifesting at its purest form. Now, somebody wants to go into depths. Now, it could be the depths of their own feelings to really soothe, to find the issue as to what was really going on. It says you may immerse and go deeper. So somebody may need to go a little bit deeper in their feelings. Okay, because look, it says, I feel. Yeah, somebody might want to go into those feelings. They want to reveal something, but in order to see that light, you're going to have to go a little bit deeper. There's new beginnings here. Somebody, you know, is waiting for somebody at the docks, but they're still in the water right now. So it says, may you start as if you already began, okay? So you're already beginning a whole new journey. And it says persist, okay? You may, uh, may your ripples build a swell, okay? So there you go. You're, you're persisting. Somebody is really persisting. They want to accept the truth for what it is. They want to get out of these emotions. They know that there's so much above water going on. And they want to be able to deal with those emotions properly. Whether this is you, somebody else, take it as it resonates. You may receive what is as it comes. You have to accept the situation for what it is. And it says com compassion. Somebody's going to have to have compassion, okay? Once you come up out of that water, you know, you're going to have to have compassion for yourself, for other people. It says, may you tend to the suffering so that this way you can tend to your own suffering. That way we're not bleeding onto other people. We can go to the depths, but we have to be persistent with our healing. And then we get the bliss, guys. And what's this? Balance. We get the bliss and the balance, okay? That's what I'm talking about. But you got to accept. It says, may you feel deep, 
deeply and transcend, okay? So somebody wants to transcend, wants to reveal how deeply they're in these emotions about you. They want to accept what's going on. You need to accept what's going on and have some compassion. Tend to your suffering. Tend to yourself. Go into those deep emotions because it's time to begin to bring balance. It says you may find equilibrium in motion. May you find equilibrium in motion. Somebody needs to keep going. Have persistence and go into the depths. They can do this. It says healed. May you feel the ocean caress. So somebody needs to just feel that emotion. Let it soothe them. Understanding and taking accountability, but not holding themselves, you know, being graceful. Somebody is in that, is in a despair, but then at the same time, they're seeing this blissful energy inside of that darkness. They are getting it. A lot of people are getting it. We have to go through the darkest times of our lives before we can really get this bliss and balance, okay? But you're going to have to com have compassion, not just for yourself, but all living things. Somebody wants to fucking have sex with you. Holy fuck. That's how they want to soothe this. They want to be gentle. They're, they're trying to break away from some kind of wave that's above them, like that has got them in this this overwhelmed feeling and it could just be over sex you know I don't know somebody wants you to accept something except that they're too afraid to talk yeah something's being revealed guys somebody needs to have some kind of openness so that it could lead to more communication because Somebody's got a lot of motherfucking, a lot of passion with that Ace of Wands. It's that big dick energy. It's a new opportunity. It's something, guys. But, yo, it's like somebody doesn't want to lose you. I don't know. Somebody wants to get you drunk. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> somebody is in the deep pits of their own despair. Because of this drinking, and the more they drink, the more deeper they get. The more procrastination they have, then the more less balance they have. This is why they're feeling some kind of way. They don't want to lose you, but they're fucking overindulging. And this is why it says, may you feel the ocean's care caress. Like somebody... Somebody doesn't understand that you, maybe you just wanted space and to heal and then somebody just, you know, went into the, you know, the depths of their own emotions and, and now they're afraid to talk or, I don't know, they're, they're afraid to talk but they want to be your hero, it's like that ace of wands or maybe somebody is coming in. I don't know, somebody's obsessed with your body. Like, seriously, this made a real flip, eh? It says, I need you more. Yeah, somebody just needs to balance their energy out. Somebody is very obsessed with you, and they don't understand why this, they're, you. Okay. It looks as though somebody wants to reach out and wants you to say yes after you continuously keep saying maybe. Somebody really likes you, but do you like them? They want to know. Do you like them? Like, because they're really up in their head and they're drinking, like constantly drinking. They think that, you know, if they follow you, they're going to lose everything. So they need time to find stability within themselves. So then it's not, it's not codependency. Because right now somebody thinks it's very codependent because they don't know if you're thinking about them. They're very blissful, but, yo, know, somebody's in a lot of emotions. I'm telling you, a lot of emotions. They need to ground themselves because they are, keep asking the same questions like, uh, do you love me? Or, you know, it's like the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody sees you as a gift. They want to know if you see them as a gift. Somebody wants to balance something out. Last one, it says, you are right. Bottom of the deck. I just dream and wish for everything. Okay, so 
somebody's dreaming and wishing for everything, but um, they might have lost the one more important thing trying to wish for everything. And this is why the clear is here. It says you may see things you you may see things as they are. It's time to be clear about the situation. That's what somebody is coming to terms with. That's why they're saying you were right. Now there is no right or wrong here, guys. People need to learn lessons for themselves. This is why we need to always persist in what we need to do and live our own our own lives, guys. It's all about acceptance. Cause right now somebody is just uh you know they they got it up for you right now. They want to celebrate with you. There's some kind of reunion here. Friends, family, acquaintances. Somebody's partying, wants to party with you. They want to get out of a mental entrapment. The Eight of Swords in reverse. They're finally breaking free from some kind of bondage that they were in. Mental in poverty, spiritual poverty, um, purgatory of the mind. Take it as it resonates, the spiritual core. But somebody is breaking free. This could be you guys. You're taking control of your situation. And now somebody feels like you should put down your guard. Somebody is definitely folding on their beliefs and wants to admit defeat. It's the Five of Cups, uh, Five of Pentacles, because they no longer want to be left out in the cold. Somebody has made in increased financial improvement and um, is ending some kind of hardship. Could be you guys. It's that Page of Cups, though. There's a lot of childish energies. This is that... That broken dreams energy, bad news kind of energy. Somebody is upset because you're learning something new and you're the star. So you have inspiration, you have hope, you're a healer. So you're able to rejuvenate not just yourself, but a lot of people. This is why somebody wants you to put down your guard. Because they know that inevitably you're always going to get good news. But it's like you were going to get bad news. But it's about really making the best out of that. Finding solutions to the problems. And that cousin made their towers for somebody. Somebody is having a destruction and wants to invest in you. It's like somebody is cleaning up house right now. Okay, There was a lot of abuse, uh, domestic violence, or some kind of disaster going on. And there's um, healing from this. The Ten of Swords in reverse is you escaped ruins. You pulled yourself together and you learned from the past. Now somebody wants to invest in you because you have healed. You learn to make light of the situation. Just be grateful for the little things because you've had a lot and you've had nothing. So just to just, you know, be alive and be authentic and be yourself is everything. And that's fucking powerful. So you're able to escape from somebody's grasp or what some other people wanted for you. And others are seeing that you were right. You were right. And this is why you live blissfully because you are the warrior. Now, it was patience, it was by loyalty, responsibility, taking accountability, being protective of yourself, and then defending what is yours. Being a little bit stubborn, but it's about balance. And this Queen of Cups in reverse, this male or female, it's irrelevant. These cards hold both masculine and feminine. Gen it's like they're, they're not gender specific, okay? So, that Queen of Cups is emotionally, oops, excuse me, <laughs> emotionally unstable. And... <sighs> It's like as if this person has tried to do a lot to really block your blessings. But you found mental strength with that four of swords in reverse. And this person is really going through it. Or this man, take it as it resonates. There's somebody in a lot of, that's a lot of water, guys. So that is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Does it not have to be? It could be in the moon sign. Or um, different kind of placement, okay? But at the end of the day, you awaken. Somebody wants to rejoin the world. Coming out of isolation. You have really stand, stood strong through all adversities. Because you were the temperance angel, the earth angel. You're bringing balance to the situation. And messages are blocked. Somebody wants to return from their travels and celebrate with you. They see you as wish fulfillment. But somebody judged you wrongly there was a lot of malicious gossip lack of accountability clearly a lot of unfairness and unwilling to learn so they had to go a lot of people had to go to karmic lessons because they went up against the temperance angel a lot of people knew who you were now there's a soulmate or a reconciliation a partnership some kind of something coming in only because your wishes are coming true you realized your dreams you went towards them you did what you needed to do and you were grateful for the moment for what you had and what's to come. And that caused 
that brought a lot of confidence to you to know that source, God, the creator, had your back no matter what. And you're cheerful through it because you know that these people who are mean, vicious, they're not going to ever apologize to you. They need time for themselves to love on themselves properly. And you can't say, I told you so, or I was right, because there is no fucking right way, okay, guys? This is where the judgment is. We're not like them. We let go of the burdens. We understand where they're at right now. There's a lot of sadness, pain, unrequited love, blocked, repressed emotions. So you're just like, listen, I'm going to let go of this so that I can bring in a true emperor, bossy or independent contractor, or this emperor is being blocked because of the lack of self-love. And because of the fact that they judged you, they had lack of self-awareness and unwilling to learn, I'm telling you. And now they could be all up in their feelings, wanting to, you know, sex you down all they want. But listen, you let go of this bond because you knew that somebody was over, over, over abusive. Like, they were overcritical and pessimistic and malicious and rude and... You know, they lacked empathy. So, now this emperor could have a blindfold on to this queen of swords that you already let go of because you knew who they were. And you know these people see you as wish fulfillment. So you go on your own journey. You're like, fuck this. I am not dealing with people who judge falsely. Because you're the temperance angel. So you know you're worth. You walk away. I'm sure you're the empress or something like that. Well, you're the queen of wants right so you're the warrior and now this emperor may want to come in and offer you something but look their dick is sorry i mean their wand is on um, in reverse so they're very hesitant they feel like they missed up missed out on an opportunity with the two of cups fuck this retrograde got my tongue fucking super twisted <laughs> Comment, let me know if this is exactly what's going on with you too, okay guys? But, you got this happy couple coming in because you are nine of pentacles, single, self-sufficient, independent. People can judge you all they want, but look at this motherfucker, you're still getting that six of wands because you're not juggling stuff, okay? You found time management, you were very, very resourceful, and there is some kind of partnership, friendship, some kind of connection, a proposal of some kind. A lot of attraction coming in. And that's because you balance things out. You're patient. You know about moderation and you understand unity and acceptance of both masculine and feminine. So, you bring balance to situations and, yo, know, you've got a very overcritical person who is very much stuck in their head. Whether this is male, female, it's irrelevant. Somebody is upset. Look, I say upset and look, it's the shaman of sorrow. Somebody is very upset. Spirit, show me why. What's the advice? What's the advice for my beautiful collective? Yeah, they're upset because you're going on a new journey. And you're tapping into this abundance. You're waking up to who you truly are. And it's scaring the fuck out of a lot of people. Because they never thought that you would see your true worth. Tap into that true value that you always knew. The mystery of life. You know the mystery of life. And you want to help a lot of people. And you're doing that. And you tapped into that with the spirit of hope. So great is what God created gave you hope. Knowing that no matter the situation, no matter what, you can always let go of the situation. Find a healthy way to cope and make the best out of the situation. Make things beautiful. Make ugly out of, like something beautiful out of ugly. Like, you know, just change the whole world. Remember, you are the empress. So everything you touch turns to gold. And you have hope to tap into that mystery, to see the foresight that even through fear, you're able to do it. Tap into the abundance, go on the solar journey. And it, yes, it does bring a lot of sorrow at first, guys. But then you understand that you're not really alone. So it brings you a little bit more hope and understanding and, you know, faith. And, and then you're like, listen, I know that whatever's going to come to me, it'll be right for me because I did the work. I'm not trying to say that I need this because everybody else needs this. I'm saying I need this because I've done the work and this is what my soul needs in the moment. Uh, does my life have room for more pleasure and play? Yo, somebody really wants you to be more playful, so maybe you want to be more playful, okay? It says, in what area am I lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in a certain relationship or work. 
Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experience more creative, wild, and playful side of you? Today's soul action. What would happen if you added more play and laughter in your life? What areas are you lacking right now? Take time to play. Let go of any need to produce anything, guys. It's time to just play. And you're definitely getting a lot of fucking victory. But here, like the Ace of Wands here is up with the Ace of Pentacles, right? So somebody wants to come in and offer you something because they see you so valuable. But the thing is, is they're insecure because they know of their lack of love internally. And they know that they are wasting their talents. So inevitably, this emperor... It may not get you because you got something else coming in because you have let go of this. This emperor may be stuck with some kind of narcissistic parent or girlfriend or friend or take it out. Oh, that's done. Take it as it resonates, but let's get some messages. Yeah, that's swindler, guys. That narcissistic person is a swindler and somebody has been taken for granted. And you probably have been too. So be careful of those people trying to ritualistically sacrifice you guys. Okay? Because that's the devil, okay? A lot of people are trying to make stop this victory. Because you're a city dweller, guys. And you're a fucking healer. So you can heal this, this karmic kind of attraction that this emperor has. And the fact that people are murdering and assassinating your character. And the fact is, is you have this fucking ability to start towers all over the place because you are innocent. Okay, so what happens is when people wish you bad or want bad things to you, all that does is reflect back. It's, the, it's like the angel and the devil there, the saint and the devil. And these devils are being tortured because your light is shining bright. You are a fucking performer and it's causing a lot of people imprisonment. They wanted you to be imprisoned, but now they feel like they lost a loved one because you're fucking royalty and you ain't playing no motherfucking games with no damn body at the bottom of the deck of this one is yeah earth disaster somebody's having um major life-changing events because the truth is the truth what is yours is yours you don't miss out on anything it's just not your time that's all and then we wait for our time so somebody's being tortured because you were right and uh the truth is coming out the truth always prevails guys so somebody wants to express the truth and the truth is is that they're fucking wanna like sex Oh my God, they want to empower you with sex, Pluto, okay? <laughs> Look, they want the freedom to express themselves and take a new leap of faith in a new opportunity, but there's somebody in the background being very um, mean and saying that they can't, but they want you to be open and receptive. This is why they're putting down the guards because clearly they're very attracted to you. Oh fuck, there's a bunch of there. They're very attracted to you, but they're closed off right now. They're in some kind of limitation and fear. They want to go towards their north node, but they're fearful you're not going to be a receptive to open something up. Or you need to be more receptive to new people. You got to open up. It says be more about pleasure and play, right? Because somebody, I feel it's you are very guarded or restricted from being open and it's causing you to cling to the past. Now, somebody could be clinging to the past. That could be you. You need to open up a little bit and start nurturing. Because if we stay in the past, then there's no hope there. We need to balance things out. There's definitely a lack of foresight, a lack of, look, stability, okay? So somebody needs to tap into that sp stability, find the growth. But there's this third parties in the background, like, really got somebody very detached, like, very detached. That's that queen of swords. Now, I understand as a queen of swords, as a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I'm Aquarius, uh, m one of my main traits is detachment and to be cold, but yo, somebody is like very, 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 very fucking cold and needs to have a little bit more fucking self-love. Tap into those motherfucking intentions because karma is here, okay? So there's major karmic justice and somebody wants to take a new leap of faith. I don't even know if you can see these cards, but whatever. Anyways, somebody's taking a new leap of faith, okay? Yeah, somebody is upset because they're mortal. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. Somebody needs to take the time to understand that life is brief. And you are right. You are fucking royalty. 
and there, a lot of people are mad because of your position, either in the spiritual or here on the 3D, it's irrelevant, but you led the way. Be the leader. Show people how it's done. You can help others, guys. You're helping a lot of people, and that's what it says. Look. Be the leader, okay? And then it says here, never jam today. See? Somebody promised. Uh, promises that never came true. Empty words and not living in the now somebody didn't live in the now they were very much all about everybody else everything else this could be you guys but you decided to take the lead and now somebody is very upset and they feel like they're falling why because they're fucking mortal like yo they didn't understand that it's all in a golden afternoon somebody oh god is descending into this crazy change they want change but in order to make change they need to be inspired so they're tapping into this creative spark that you gave them and never jam today. There you go. The promises again. And you see me shuffling. Somebody continuously promised you things that they knew they were never going to fulfill. And then now they're stuck like wishing things were different. Yo, they're wishing for everything and they just need to take, wow, no, don't wish for nothing. Just make the change necessary. It says we're all mad here. Everyone is a little different, guys. So somebody was judging you because you were different. And look, it says, manage to be glad. And all you were doing was managing to be glad, to making the, trying to make the best out of every situation possible because your life is your life. Your life is a moving canvas. Your life is a moving prayer. You make the best out of it. Even if the worst happens, you make the best out of it because you don't have a choice. This is your life. And people can look at you like as if you're a naive or how do you do it? It's because you managed to be glad because you've had everything and you've had nothing. And life has taught you. Create your own happiness regardless of the conditions. See what I'm talking about? And it says, unfortunately, unfortunate, uh, uncertainty. Choose who you will become. Even through the uncertainty, we don't know what's going to happen. But we have to put faith in ourselves, even when we're sad and depressed and heartbroken and missed opportunities and, you know, wasted talents and infertile or impotent, you know, whatever, whatever, we still find a way because we're all mad here. <laughs> we're all falling. So we all just need to find a m way to manage, to be glad and inspire each other because we're all fucking mortal. Every single one of us is, is going in the same place, guys. And it caused a lot of people torture because then all they're caring about is death, right? They're all worried about death. But it's not about death. It's about clearing the energy, going into the emotions, and really tapping into this sex, death, obsession, underworld, rejuvenation, subconsciousness, and getting out of this prison mentality of really hurting other people. Guys, we need to heal this cycle of torture that we've been through over and over and over. So then this way we can truly, truly have a partnership, unity, love, compatibility, and success, winning, having advancements, and being truthful, and praising those achievements that we have, and then standing in our independence, successful, financial independence, whatever this is, guys, but your hard work is, it pays off when you put those best foot forwards, the, the promises do come true, and you find healthy coping mechanisms, healthy tools in order to let go of the burdens so you can just manage, you know, with a healthiness. So you're not just managing to, you're not just on survival mode. Now you're, you're managing to, to manifest a beautiful life because you're grateful for the things you have and for the things to come. Okay. The last one is I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay. So somebody is, um, message to you is the hidden truth is I hit I hid who I really was and I am get becoming a better person and I left you before you could leave me so somebody was very insecure they hid behind material things they see you as a gift now but you know they buried themselves in work and they really left you because they're insecure like and now they feel like it's clearly a wrong choice because 
this beautiful mess is coming in, you know, or, or they got their shit together. Look, somebody is becoming a better person, you know, never call, never count anybody out. But look, somebody's tied up. So there's a lot of people. It could be the, um, an external energy, friend or family that was very envious because you knew how to make the best out of situations because you're the fucking sun. You are the light. You are this, the, the shining light in the dark ass tunnel for somebody. And you help them get out of this tied up feeling by being the change in their life, by showing that you can do it all by yourself and get out of this envious energy. Look, number 19, reduce it down to a 10. Last closing message, okay? St. Francis Oracle deck. Psychic development, learning, and studying, guys. <clears throat> Your curiosity in psychic and spiritual matters are awakening, and you have the urge to learn more. You may already be dabbling in occult matters. It is likely that people with similar skills will gather around you but realize that you are a born teacher and your intuitive abilities will be more receptive than those around you. Use your skills to trust your psychic instincts as you are open to energies of those around you. Studying occult material, reading cards, and taking interest in all forms of divination are important at this time. Finding groups where people are similar interests will help to you to develop quicker. Know that you are a natural cyclic. But be sure to use your gifts wisely. Respect the craft and you will be guided well. Look, that's what you were right about. You were right. Somebody should have respected the craft. Let's get um, a message from the moonology. What, okay, it says believe in your good luck. I'm telling you, you are good luck to somebody. And you need to release the blocks. So that this way, some beautiful things can come in. Spirit guides, what do you want to tell my collective? Okay, so it says, emotions are running high. You got that super moon just passed. Like, if we're still in that energy, guys. So the emotions are running high. You got to leave the past behind you. The Believe in the, the good luck. You got to transmute that darkness. Believe that whatever you want is already with you. Release the blocks, okay, guys? You can do this. I believe in you. I'm sending you so much love. You know you are loved. See? And be bold and make that first move, okay? Because here it says your hard work is going to pay off. I already said that. So it's time to release the negativity and speak the world into being. I fucking love this. And the last one, it's time for, to take action, okay? It's time to take action. Never mind. I was right or who was right. It doesn't matter who the fuck was right. All that matters is people are healing and getting better. That's all that matters, okay, guys? All that matters is going on a new journey. Being a new person, taking a new leap of faith, bringing balance to the situation, having growth. That's what matters. It's not about who's winning, who's losing, nothing like that. So I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some clarity. Sending you all so much love, respect. If you want a more personal reading, I'll put all my information at the bottom, okay? If you want to be generous and donate back to the channel, I'll put my PayPal there as well. I truly appreciate every, every, every single one of you, okay? So that's super moon. The emotions are running high. That's why all those...